Hi, I'm Carrie Lynn Winters, and today I'm reading for World Read Aloud Day, and I'm sharing my book, Buzz About Bees, published by Fitzhenry and Whiteside. Now, a long time ago, people didn't have access to sugar. So how did they satisfy their sweet tooth cravings? With honey, of course. They couldn't just go to a local beehive. They had to go to wild nests, and to do that, they had to have honey hunters. So today I want to find out if you would like to be a honey hunter. So if you think this is a good thing, you're going to give me a thumbs up. So the first thing about being a honey hunter is that you have to like the sound of buzzing bees. You do? Okay, great. Number two, would you be willing to climb to great heights on a flimsy ladder made of grass and weeds? Okay, great, me too. Now, do you have experience holding a flame torch or a sharp knife while wobbling on that flimsy ladder? You do? This is great, you're gonna make a great honey hunter. See your ladder should happen to collapse. Could you hold on to the underside of an extremely high cliff for several minutes? You could? We are awesome. Would you remain steady though? under that cliff while being swarmed by hundreds, no, thousands of protected bees. Bzzz. You would? And finally, do you enjoy painful bee stings? I think you'd make a great honey hunter. Take a look at my book, Buzz About Bees, and find out more about our declining populations of bees all over the world. Thank you.